In the early 1980s, Cold War tensions are rising. America's new president, Ronald Reagan, has given the military one priority. Challenge the Soviets everywhere. The Navy really wasn't interested in the Titanic. I had to build a, a whole thought process, a logic, of why the Navy should fund me to do what I want to do. And the only reason I could convince them to do that is if I did what they wanted me to do. This technology can find the Ballard's Titanic pitch, the video technology he is building to find Titanic, can also gather intelligence on the ocean floor, American or Soviet. I think the Navy could benefit from a great research. I'm a geologist, I'm an underwater mapper, and I go into unknown terrain and I map it, and then I collect things from it. To the Navy, it's not mapping and sampling, it's, it's searching, finding and recovering lost things. So they have a great interest in the same technology. The Navy generally peers into the ocean depths with sonar, a technique that finds an object by bouncing sound waves off of it. But sonar can't tell a rock from a hunk of metal. Ballard's cameras will deliver the clearest images the Navy's ever had of even the smallest debris. The Admiral is impressed. Of course, this technology was valuable. Well, the ocean is littered with all kinds of interesting intelligence, I can tell you. Admiral Thunman won't send Ballard to hunt Titanic, but he wants him to revisit a pair of tragedies that shook the Navy deeply in the 1960s, the loss of two top-secret nuclear submarines. You've heard of the USS Scorpion? Yes, sir. USS Thresher? Yes, sir. I'm thinking maybe your equipment can help us. Both were attack subs, fast, quiet boats built to hunt down their Soviet counterparts. The first, the Thresher, sank in 1963 with 129 aboard. The second, the Scorpion, disappeared in 1968 with the loss of 99. They were America's worst submarine disasters since World War II. And the Navy investigated them thoroughly, but was limited by its tools. Now it wants to see what more Ballard and his high-tech eyes can uncover. With the Cold War on, Ballard's expedition must be kept secret. I'm not sure what made it sink. We didn't want the Soviet Union to find those submarines. We didn't want them to go to the Thresher and Scorpion and poke around. Ballard will conduct thorough surveys of the two sunken subs, hunt for further evidence of what sank them, and find their nuclear reactors. I'd like to find them. Ballard signs on to the clandestine operation if he gets something in return. I said, well, look, that's fair enough. But if there's any time left over, I would like to take that extra time and look for the Titanic. Commander, we have a deal, I think. The Navy will fund Ballard's equipment. And he'll get time, once his secret missions are done, to hunt Titanic. I told him, do whatever you want, just don't spend any more money. Probably shouldn't have done that. Sworn into active duty, Robert Ballard becomes the U.S. Navy's newest undercover agent, whose brief is the ocean floor.